shopping and the source I spoke to who asked to remain anonymous says whoever did this to a woman in this kind of state took advantage of somebody who had absolutely no way to defend herself. What happened inside the Hacienda Skilled Nursing Facility in Phoenix? A woman who has been in a vegetative state at the facility for at least 14 years after a near drowning incident, giving birth to a baby Saturday. But nobody knows who did this to her. When you first heard about what happened, what went through your mind? How could it happen? and just anger and sadness sick to my stomach. This woman, familiar with what happened, has asked us to conceal her identity and voice. She says employees could not believe what was unfolding inside the victim's room. And the staff were aware that she was pregnant until she was uh, pretty much giving birth. How were they alerted to the fact that she was going into labor? From, from what I've been told, she was moaning. Um, and they didn't know what was wrong with her. There was a nurse that was there, um, and from what I heard, she's the one that delivered the baby. But what do we know about the baby? From what I, what I know, um, the baby is alive, the baby is healthy. Adult Protective Services tells us after hearing the allegations, they immediately dispatched a team to conduct health and safety checks on all members living in the facility. And the Arizona Department of Health says they are actively working with local law enforcement in their criminal investigation. But right now, no suspects have been named. And our source says this patient required round-the-clock care and many would have had access to her room. So those patients suffer quite a few people in just a day right. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there could be a lot of possibilities as to who did this. Right. She also says the facility has changed protocol this week. Um, I was told that as of now, um, they, uh, if a male staff needs to enter a female room, that they need to bring in a female employee with them. And as far as you're aware, that is a new policy. Yes. So many questions as to how something like this could have happened. But our source says this woman was raped in the most vulnerable state.